There's not really any way to adjust completely to the, the you know, to this kind of, this kind of life. I mean, it's okay because it moves really fast, and you're with people, and you laugh, and you have a good time. But um, it's very, what's the word? Um, you just sometimes want to just stay in one place for a very long time and never have to move and never have to see anyone. I never dig, I propose, you know, our job is to propose, and I try to do nothing else. This is my proposition for KL, or what I think could be an, an interesting uh, step for the next thing. That all I can do, you know, uh, one shouldn't be that pretentious. Huh? But somehow everybody follows what you propose. Yes, but it's not up to me to say that. We look so beautiful with our hairdos, I must say. <laughs> Nadia looks great like this, no? I love it on you also. Huh? It looks beautiful on your face, huh? Makes your nose incredible, huh? Yeah, the profile. Yeah, I think it's great, no? Yeah. Like the jewelry only are just lines like this too, you see, huh? I love it on you. Huh? Don't lose your hair, it's not too much. <laughs> Don't ever change your hair or your makeup. Okay. <laughs> I love the show last night. It's so beautiful. Tattoos, you know, like the scene. Yeah, the guy in the back painting everybody. So pretty. Look, the tattoos must take ages because I did tattoo like loads of people. Yeah, somewhere real though. Yeah, that guy with his whole back. And apparently, the guy with the whole back. That's what somebody was talking about. Yeah, that's Pierce, right? But also tattooed. Yeah, didn't he have a cute on? He was sitting there, yeah. his legs were yeah. showing everyone his head. He was going like this, right? <laughs> Thank you. 
Deux chips. Deux chips. Deux chips. Un avion. Un avion. Et cinq. Cinq cafés au lait. Et un chocolat. Voilà. After all these years, we can't speak French. Very I thought that was really great, I have to say. Oh, chocolate on show, s'il vous plaît. Oh, can I have another one? Oh, go, go on. I never get any pictures. You guys always get those pictures. I never get any I don't know, she has something in herself which cannot be described and uh, in a way she's unique. Where do you go with her? Where do we go with her? Most of the shows. <laughs> I started to collect her photos in 1989-90. I liked a lot of um, Italian Vogue shootings by Steven Meisel. It was in 1991. And now I don't like it very much. I, it always shoots the same way. So I think it's boring at the end. I take many, many pictures. I try to go to every of her shows. I keep them for me. If I show them, I show the pictures to her. And if she likes some, I give it to her. Uh, I met him because Cindy Crawford was at the Ritz Hotel in Paris. And he was waiting for in front of the hotel. And I was also, and then we began to to talk and everything, and we fell in love last May. <laughs> it was the one where she spreads her legs. I know, I mean, it was, I think it was great she did that because nobody else wanted to do it and that was a big, obviously a big, um, a big step in the right direction for her. Um, because you need to do something like that, obviously, to... <laughs> no, you know, I think it's great that a woman that age can still... No, <laughs> no but meaning. <laughs> no, I've really got myself in some deep shit here. No, you know, I mean, she said that herself. You know, in that age, when you're an actress, it's not the time to start. And she just, her whole career just went like up completely when she after she did that movie. A lot of girls start when they're like 20, 21, 22, and, you know, the, the bit older, the, the, the actresses start up.